Starting small, dreaming big $10,000 makes a difference. Saving money is crucial. It's the first step towards financial independence. It's even harder when you're young. The pressures of student loans, rent, and daily expenses can make saving seem impossible. The average 20-something has very little saved. In fact, many are living paycheck to paycheck, struggling to make ends meet. But don't let that discourage you. Every small effort counts, and every dollar saved is a step closer to your financial goals. Starting with $10,000 is a huge step. It's a significant amount that can set the stage for future financial success. It's a solid foundation for building wealth through dividend income. Investing wisely can turn this initial amount into a substantial portfolio. Remember, every journey begins with a single step. And in the world of investing, that first $10,000 is a giant leap towards financial freedom. And in the world of investing, that first $10,000 is a giant leap towards financial freedom. It opens doors to opportunities that can grow your wealth. Investing that $10,000 wisely is key. Diversify your investments to spread risk and maximize potential returns. You want it to grow over time. Patience and consistency are your best allies in this journey. Dividend-paying stocks can help you do just that. They provide regular income which can be reinvested to buy more shares. They provide a stream of income. This steady flow of dividends can significantly boost your investment returns over time. This income can be reinvested to buy more shares. Reinvesting dividends accelerates the growth of your investment. This is the magic of compounding. Your money earns money, and that money earns even more money. Starting with $10,000 might not seem like much, but with the power of compounding, it can grow exponentially. But it's enough to get you started on the right track. Setting up an investment account is the first step towards a brighter financial future. Don't underestimate the power of consistent investing. Regular contributions, no matter how small, add up over time. Over time, your money will grow. Just like a seedling turns into a tree, your investments will flourish. You'll be surprised at how much dividend income you can generate. The returns can be substantial, providing financial security and peace of mind. Remember, investing is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Long-term commitment and patience are essential. Be patient. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on your long-term goals and avoid the temptation of short-term gains. Your $10,000 will thank you for it. With careful planning and disciplined investing, you can achieve financial freedom and enjoy the rewards of your hard work. The S&P 500 is a great place to start investing. It's one of the most well-known and widely followed stock market indices in the world. This index tracks the performance of 500 large companies, which are some of the most influential and financially stable businesses in the United States. These companies represent a diverse range of industries including technology, healthcare, finance, and retail, among others. Think of it as a snapshot of the U.S. economy, reflecting the overall health and trends of the market. Investing in the S&P 500 is easy and accessible for most people. You don't need to be a financial expert to get started. You can do it through low-cost index funds or ETFs, which are designed to mimic the performance of the S&P 500. These funds hold all the stocks in the index, giving you a piece of each company. This gives you instant diversification, spreading your investment across multiple sectors. It lowers your risk by not putting all your money into one company or industry. The S&P 500 has a long history of growth, showing resilience through various economic cycles. It also pays dividends, which can be a source of steady income. The average dividend yield is around 1-2%, to providing a modest but reliable return on your investment. It's not huge but it's consistent, which can be very appealing for those looking for stability. This makes it a good option for long-term investors who are patient and looking to build wealth over time. Remember, investing in the stock market always carries risk. It's important to be aware of the potential for loss, but the S&P 500 is considered a relatively safe bet compared to individual stocks due to its broad diversification. It's a great way to build a solid foundation for your portfolio, providing both growth potential and income through dividends. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is another popular index, often referred to as the DJIA or simply the Dow. It serves as a barometer for the overall health of the U.S. stock market. It tracks 30 large, well-established companies which are often leaders in their respective industries. These companies are carefully selected to represent a broad spectrum of the economy. These companies are considered blue-chip stocks, known for their reliability, stability, and strong financial performance. They are typically household names with a global presence. They are leaders in their industries, often setting trends and standards that others follow. 
Their leadership is reflected in their consistent performance and strategic initiatives. They have a long history of profitability, demonstrating resilience through various economic cycles. This track record makes them attractive to long-term investors. The Dow Jones has a higher dividend yield than the S&P 500, which is appealing to those looking for regular income. Dividends are a portion of a company's earnings paid to shareholders. It typically ranges from 2 to 3 percent, providing a steady stream of income. This yield can be particularly beneficial during times of market volatility. This makes it attractive to income-seeking investors, such as retirees or those looking to supplement their income. Dividends can be reinvested to compound growth over time. Investing in the Dow Jones is similar to investing in the S&P 500, as both provide exposure to large-cap U.S. companies. However, the Dow's focus on blue-chip stocks offers a unique advantage. You can use index funds or ETFs to invest in the Dow Jones. This provides instant diversification, reducing risk by spreading investments across multiple companies. Remember, the Dow Jones is made up of only 30 companies, which means each company has a significant impact on the index's performance. It's less diversified than the S&P 500, which includes 500 companies. This concentration can lead to higher volatility, but also the potential for higher returns. But it still offers exposure to some of the biggest and best companies in the world, providing a solid foundation for any long-term investment strategy. Looking for higher dividend yields? Consider high dividend ETFs. These funds invest in companies that pay above average dividends. They can offer yields of 3% or more. One popular option is the Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF. This fund invests in S&P 500 companies with high dividends and low volatility. It aims to provide income and stability. High dividend ETFs can be a good choice for investors seeking income, but it's important to remember that higher yields often come with higher risks. These funds may be more sensitive to interest rate changes. Sector-Specific Funds Exploring Energy and Real Estate for Yield Another option for dividend income is sector-specific funds. These funds focus on companies in a particular industry. For example, energy and real estate sectors are known for their dividends. Energy funds invest in oil and gas companies. These companies often pay high dividends, but they can be volatile. Oil and gas prices fluctuate, and this impacts their profits and dividends. Real estate funds invest in properties. They generate income from rent, and this income is passed on to investors as dividends. Real estate can be less volatile than stocks, but it's not without risk. Property values can go down. Dividend Aristocrats Investing in Reliable Dividend Payers Dividend aristocrats are companies that have increased their dividends for at least 25 consecutive years. These companies are known for their stability and reliability. They are committed to returning value to shareholders. AbV is an example of a dividend aristocrat. It's a pharmaceutical company with a long history of dividend growth. It currently yields over 5%. Investing in individual stocks like AbV requires research. You need to understand the company's business, financials, and future prospects. But the potential rewards can be worth it. Growth over dividends. A young investor's path to wealth. If you're a young investor, your focus should be on growth. You have time on your side and you can take on more risk. Growth stocks offer the potential for higher returns over the long term. The Vanguard Growth ETF is a good example of a growth-focused investment. This fund invests in companies that are expected to grow at above-average rates. It has a long history of outperforming the market. Remember, growth stocks may not pay dividends. They reinvest their profits back into the business, which can lead to higher stock prices in the future. The Dividend Trap Don't sacrifice growth for early income. Don't fall into the dividend trap. It's easy to get caught up in chasing high yields. But remember, dividends are only part of the equation. You also want to see your investment grow over time. Prioritizing dividend yield too early can hurt your long-term returns. You may miss out on opportunities for higher growth. This is especially true for smaller portfolios. Focus on building a diversified portfolio that aligns with your risk tolerance and time horizon. Don't be afraid to invest in growth stocks. They can be a powerful engine for wealth creation. Reinvesting dividends, the power of compounding returns. Reinvesting your dividends is crucial for maximizing your returns. When you reinvest, you're buying more shares of stock. These shares generate more dividends. It's a virtuous cycle. Compounding is like a snowball rolling downhill. It starts small. But over time, it gains momentum and grows exponentially. The earlier you start reinvesting, the more time your money has to compound. Many brokerage accounts offer dividend reinvestment plans or DRIPs. 
these plans automatically reinvest your dividends. This makes it easy to take advantage of compounding. Balancing risk and reward. Diversification is key. Diversification is essential for any investment portfolio. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread your risk across different asset classes, sectors, and geographies. Investing in a mix of stocks, bonds, and other assets can help reduce volatility. When one asset class is down, another may be up. This can help smooth out your returns over time. Remember, diversification is not just about what you invest in. It's also about when you invest. Consider dollar cost averaging. This involves investing a fixed amount of money at regular intervals. This helps to reduce the impact of market timing. The long game patience and consistency pay off. Investing is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Be patient. Stay consistent. Don't get discouraged by short-term market fluctuations. Focus on the long term. Remember, time is your greatest asset as an investor. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow. Even small contributions can add up over time. Stay disciplined. Avoid making emotional decisions. Stick to your investment plan, review it periodically, make adjustments as needed. With patience and consistency, you can achieve your financial goals.